Okay, so the goal is to add loops to Monkey. I don't know why my terminal always jumps in the background, but I don't know. So, <clears throat> first thing we have to do is add support for the while keyword. Um, so we have the macro keyword. Uh, we just extend our test and add while. Um, I would say our loops look like this. Come like this. Um, now we need to kind of extend the test. Uh, we want to have while, which doesn't exist here. We want to have this uh, paren uh, identifier. Then we have the less. Do we have this? Da, da, da. What's it called? LT. All right. So this one. And then we have an int. Um, it's a five, if I remember correctly. Then we have the brace. Uh, we have nothing on the block. Semicolon. Do we have a semicolon? No. Okay. So we remove this. Um, now the linter already says this is not defined. Um, let's go to the tokens and see where we define macro and add while. Da, 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 while here, <clears throat> down here while this should be it save save here okay run the tests success okay so our lexer now knows how to turn while into a token <clears throat> now we need to extend a parser so we go to the parser test um let statement return statements let's jump to the bottom here and see which test we can copy this one here sounds good let's copy the whole thing um macro while loop statement parsing <clears throat> a while loop is it a statement or an expression i would say should we make it an expression and what does it return then an expression always returns value a statement does not a statement has side effects we could make it an expression and it returns the last value it evaluated to in the block. Does that make sense? I don't know. Let's, let's make it a statement and then, you know, if we find out <clears throat> that, that it's better as an expression, we have a cool idea for an expression and we can change it. Okay, so this is the same thing we just put in the lexer test, um, which means we should get back the same tokens. Um, in the test, we do lexer new, okay? Then we construct a new parser, we pass the program, we check for parser errors, uh, we want at least one statement. Um, and then this here is wrong already. We don't want an expression statement because we want um, a while loop statement which doesn't exist yet in our AST, but that's fine. Um, it's not a while loop statement. And then we want to cast it to while loop statement and say statement expression is not an AST while loop statement. Um, instead, we got this. And now let's da, 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 forget about, well, this is actually, this is good. Uh, we're going to keep this around. Um, the body statements, well, it's zero. Um, yeah, let's do this here, right? Uh, macro while loop. And now let's get rid of this. Yes, this is what we want. Test and fix expression. And we want while loop. It's going to have a condition field because that's what a while loop has. Um, and we want it to be this. And then we want the body. Well, it's going to have statements because it's a block statement. Um, and it doesn't have any statements for now. Okay, so now we go to our AST. Uh, where is the macro literal? Uh, we don't want that. What we want is a new statement. So what is the last statement, block statement? Let's jump to that definition. All right, cool. We're going to copy this and we do an amazing search and replace 
so a while loop statement what does it have it has a condition that is an expression and it has body that is a block statement right um, block statement is a concrete type expression is an interface so um, here we don't need a pointer here we need a pointer so let's rename these um, BS and call them WL um, and then we say what do we write here uh, the token literal is also here WL token literal that's that's gonna be the while okay so we need to update that comment here um, and then here we're gonna say I would write string um, while let's put the parentheses here um, strictly speaking we don't need the parentheses right it's just for grouping we could parse the expression the question just is what do we use as the delimiter to detect in the parser when the body starts and I would say we always require there to be the the curly braces you know it's a, it, it wouldn't be possible to do this or puts whatever right uh, we always want it to be like this and I don't think it matters if you write this or this yeah so let, let's just write it like this and say I would write string um, it is W condition condition string um, and then yeah we're gonna write we will write a you know let's let's just see we're gonna write an empty string here and then we're gonna write the body W L body string out string. Okay, let's reload here and see where we are. Okay, statement expression. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, we don't need this. We need. We're gonna change our test here, and we're gonna remove this paragraph. And now let's see if that works. All right, parser has one error. No prefix parse function for while found. That is an amazingly helpful error. Let's jump to this. Uh, okay, <laughs> that is the parser error. Let's jump to the parser. Um, I haven't been in this code for a long time. So let's see. Register prefix. What we want is to produce an expression. Um, parse statement. No, we want to parse. Uh, forget what I'm saying. Um, this is what we want. Here is what we need. Let's just do this. No, that wasn't useful. The search on a place here. Okay. Now we're going to copy this. And what we're going to do is search and replace let statement with while loop statement. And then up here, um, we also need this. And down here, what we want is, mm, well, okay, so. What we need next is to parse an expression, right? We're sitting on we're sitting on the while token, so now we need to call next token and then parse expression, and that is the condition. Um, and then we need to parse. The block um, yep yeah 
this is what we need. This is this is exactly what we need here. See, we're gonna copy all of this. Yes. Okay. Cool. So what we want, we're gonna do it like in like an if conditional. Um, we expect the next one to be a paren. Then we go to the next token. Um, then we pass the expression. Then we expect that it closes with the paren, and then we expect the brace, and then we expect the consequence. But in our case, it is simply the body. And expression is statement, and that is statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back to this and update what we said here. Um, so we need this, right? Uh, we can always change this. Uh, I don't think theoretically that we need it, but that's fine. Um, let's run the test, see where we are. Expression is not an identifier. Got integer literal. Um, that is what? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, that's good. Man, our testing tools are good. Oops, sorry. Run the test again. Boom! We can parse wild statements. That's cool. 